uh, I'm going to be seeing my mother next week. She's uh, in her mid-90s and living in England. Um, and um, so this is about her. Uh, this is, I was born in Cape Town, South Africa, uh, into a small minority of um, mixed race people named Coloured, or Cape Coloureds. By custom and then under apartheid law, racists didn't intermarry. So coloured people were mixed race for generations and generally the precise nature of that mix um, got extremely fuzzy. By genome testing, I'm 40% European, 40% Asian, and 20% African. Um, this is a poem about my vague family history, but mostly on my mother's side. It's on a sequence that begins with the words on the attic's black and white TV. So there's an ongoing metaphor throughout the sequence about acts of attempted memory being like peering in an old TV set that you found in the attic uh, that no longer quite functions. Uh, and the faint faulty images on such a TV screen are of course called ghosts. Um, and this poem is called Listening for Ghosts for that reason and also because it's set at the house my mother grew up in next to a cemetery. <laughs> and guess there was an outhouse. <laughs> Listening for Ghosts. Sometimes the figures on the screen turn small and other. I recall stories my mother told of a child framed in a doorway at their house beside the cemetery, listening for ghosts. In the yard, vague trees woohoo with their arms. She fixes the shape-shadowed contours of the outhouse. She runs. She sits, leans, leans hunched, listening for ghosts. She hears the ragged abeyance of her breath. Whenever my father pulls out some sepia pick of covered wagons his ancestors had trek, or of his father, the missionary, whose fierce heart, August the 2nd, 1935, the eve of his son's 15th birthday, blew like the used up fuses in exhausted grassy park. Or when my mother recounts for us her high slippery sum of siblings, the several she thinks went to her mother's funeral, the several who passed for white, so could not afford to, I find myself hunched like this in her image, barely breathing, listening in the smudge of someone's conjure for the dead who made me, for what I am and what they say I'm not. In her teens, my mother passed also. A friend learned Nat King Cole was black and burned his records, shivering as if his sweet talk were proclaimed the devils, and around her the graves were opening. Sometimes the figures on the screen I'm crouched by shift and vanished into black-white dots, a vatic blur, until all I see is the scrub of my reflection, and all I hear are scraps of voices whispering. <laughs>